How does RU486 cause an abortion? A pill containing RU486, Mipristone, deprives a fertilized embryo of a compatible uterine environment. Terminating a pregnancy within 49 days of fertilization. It was approved for use in the United States on September 28. 2000 It is taken under the supervision of a qualified physician in a clinical setting or physician's office. Sometimes it is used as an emergency contraceptive, morning after pill. After unprotected sexual intercourse even when more than 49 days have passed since the woman's last menstrual period. Is there a name for the heart monitoring machine that people sometimes wear for a day or two while carrying on their normal activities? A portable version of the electrocardiograph, ECG, designed by J. J. Holter is called a Holter monitor. Electrodes attached to the chest are linked to a small box containing a recording device. The device records the activity of the heart. What is the meaning of the numbers in a blood pressure reading? When blood is forced into the aorta, it exerts a pressure against the walls. This is referred to as blood pressure. The upper number, the systolic, measures the pressure during the period of ventricular contraction. The lower number, the diastolic, measures the pressure when blood is entering the relaxed chambers of the heart. While these numbers can vary due to age, sex, weight, and other factors. The normal blood pressure is around 110-60 to 140-90 mm of mercury. How is patient-controlled analgesia, PCA, administered? This is a drug delivery system that dispenses a preset intravenous, 4. Dose of a narcotic analgesic for reduction of pain whenever a patient pushes a switch on an electric cord. The device consists of a computerized pump with a chamber containing a syringe holding up to 60 milliliters of a drug. The patient administers a dose of narcotic when the need for pain relief arises. A lockout interval device automatically inactivates the system if the patient tries to increase the amount of narcotic within a preset time period. Who was the first physician to use chemotherapy as a medical treatment? Chemotherapy is the use of chemical substances to treat diseases, specifically malignant diseases. The drug must interfere with the growth of bacterial, parasitic, or tumor cells, without significantly affecting host cells. Especially effective in types of cancer such as leukemia and lymphoma.
Chemotherapy was introduced in medicine by the German physician Paul Ehrlich, 1854-1915. How long do chemicals from marijuana stay in the body? And marijuana is smoked, tetrahydrocannabinol, THC. Its active ingredient is absorbed primarily in the fat tissues. The body transforms the THC into metabolites, which can be detected by urine tests for up to a week. Tests involving radioactively labeled THC have traced the metabolites for up to a month. The retention of labeled THC in humans is about 40% at 3 days and 30% at 1 week. Schedule V low potential for abuse. May contain lamotil, parapectolin, small amounts of narcotics. Regulated, Cherichol, Robitussin, in the same manner as non-scheduled prescription drugs. What is reflexology? Reflexology is the application of specific pressures to reflex points in the hands and feet. The reflex points relate to every organ and every part of the body. Massaging of the reflex points is done to prevent or cure diseases. Believed to have been used in Asian cultures as long as 2000 years ago. Reflexology was introduced to the United States at the turn of the century by D.R. William Fitzgerald, 1872 1942, and Eunice D. Ingham, 1889 1974. Today, nearly 25. 000 certified practitioners can be found throughout the world. What is a controlled substance? The Comprehensive Drug Abuse Prevention and Control Act of 1971 was designed to control the distribution and use of all depressant and stimulant drugs and other drugs of abuse or potential abuse. Centrally acting drugs are divided into five classes called Schedule I through V. What are X-rays? X-rays are electromagnetic radiation with short wavelengths, 10 to 3 nanometers, and a great amount of energy. They were discovered in 1898 by William Conrad Rentgen, 1845 to 1923. X-rays are frequently used in medicine because they are able to pass through opaque. Dense structures such as bone and form an image on a photographic plate. They are especially helpful in assessing damage to bones. Identifying certain tumors, and examining the chest heart and lungs and abdomen. A major disadvantage of X-rays as a diagnostic tool is that they provide little information about the soft tissues. Since they only show a flat, two-dimensional picture, they cannot distinguish between the various layers of an organ. Some of which may be healthy while others may be diseased.
who developed the poliomyelitis vaccine for polio. Immunologist Jonasi Sock, 1914-1995, developed the first vaccine, made from a killed virus. Against poliomyelitis and is known as the man who defeated polio. In 1952 he prepared and tested the vaccine, and in 1954 massive field tests were successfully undertaken. Two years later immunologist Albert Sabin, 1906-1993 Developed an oral vaccine made from inactivated live viruses of three polio strains. Currently, an inactivated polio vaccine, IPV, is given as an injection at ages two months. Four months, six to eighteen months, and a booster at four to six years. Is it possible to use animal organs as replacements for human organ transplantation? In 1984, a 12-day-old infant, Baby Faye, received a baboon's heart. She lived for 20 days before her body rejected the transplanted heart. Since the supply of human organs is far less than the need for human organs. Researchers continue to search for alternative sources of organs. In 1999, the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, prohibited the use of non-human primate. Organs for human transplantation unless researchers could assess the risk of disease. A major concern had been that viruses and other diseases that were harmful to the animals would be deadly to humans. Researchers continue to search for alternate sources of organs, including pigs. What were the birth defects caused by the drug thalidomide? In the early 1960s, thalidomide was marketed as a sedative and anti-nausea drug. It was found to cause birth defects in babies whose mothers had taken the drug for morning sickness. Some babies were born without arms or legs. Others were born blind or deaf or with heart defects or intestinal abnormalities. Although some were mentally retarded, most were of normal intelligence. This tragedy led to much stricter laws regulating the sale and testing of new drugs. What is the difference between an ophthalmologist, optometrist, and optician? An ophthalmologist is a physician who specializes in care of the eyes. Ophthalmologists conduct examinations to determine the quality of vision and the need for corrective glasses or contact lenses. They also check for the presence of any disorders, such as glaucoma or cataracts. Ophthalmologists may perform surgery or prescribe glasses, contact lenses, or medication, as necessary. An optometrist is a specialist trained to examine the eyes and to prescribe, supply, and adjust glasses or contact lenses. B. 
because they are not physicians, optometrists may not prescribe drugs or perform surgery. An optometrist refers patients requiring these types of treatment to an ophthalmologist. An optician is a person who fits supplies and adjusts glasses or contact lenses. Because their training is limited, opticians may not examine or test eyes or prescribe glasses or drugs. When was the first artificial heart used? On December 2, 1982, Dr. Barney B. Clark, 1921-1983, a 61-year-old retired dentist, became the first human to receive a permanently implanted artificial heart. It was known as the Jarvik 7 after its inventor, Dr. Robert Jarvik. 1946. The 7.5-hour operation was performed by Dr. William DeVries, 1943, a surgeon at the University of Utah Medical Center. Dr. Clark died on March 23, 1983, 112 days later. In Louisville, Kentucky, William Schroeder, 1923 to 1986 survived 620 days with an artificial heart November 25 1984 to August 7 1986 on January 11 1990 the US Food and Drug Administration FDA recalled the Jarvik 7 which had been the only artificial heart approved by the FDA for use. Two models of a total artificial heart, TA, are now available that can replace the ventricles, the two lower chambers, of the heart. Eligible patients must have end-stage heart failure. Meaning all treatments except a heart transplant have failed. ATA may keep patients alive while they wait for heart transplants. Or may keep patients alive who are not eligible for a heart transplant. The two brands are the Cardioist and ABIOCOR. The Cardioist is connected to a power source outside of the body via tubes. That run from inside the chest to the outside through holes in the abdomen. The ABIOCOR is a battery powered TA that is completely contained in the chest. The battery is charged through the skin with a special magnetic charger. What is lithotripsy? Lithotripsy is the use of ultrasonic or shock waves to pulverize kidney stones. Calculi, allowing the small particles to be excreted or removed from the body. There are two different methods, extracorporeal shock wave lithotripsy, ESWL, and percutaneous lithotripsy. The ESWL method, used on smaller stones. Breaks up the stones with external shock waves from a machine called a lithotripter. This technique has eliminated the need for more invasive stone surgery in many cases. For larger stones, a type of endoscope, called a nephroscope, is inserted into the kidney through a small incision. 
the ultrasonic waves from the nephroscope shatter the stones. And the fragments are removed through the nephroscope. How does a cardiac pacemaker differ from an implantable defibrillator? Both pacemakers and implantable defibrillators are used to treat arrhythmias in the heart rate. A pacemaker monitors the electrical impulses in the heart and delivers electrical pulses as necessary to make the heart beat in a more normal rhythm. What are designer drugs? such as China White. Designer drugs are synthesized chemicals that resemble such available narcotics as fentanyl and meperidine. China White, 3-methylfentanyl, is one of these drugs and is an analog of fentanyl. It is 3,000 times more potent than morphine. Even small amounts can be fatal. And it has been responsible for more than 100 overdose deaths in California. Does cat gut really come from cats? Cat gut, an absorbable sterile strand, is obtained from collagen derived from healthy mammals. It was originally prepared from the submucosal layer of the intestines of sheep. It is used as a surgical ligature. The major advantage of minimally invasive surgery is that it is less traumatic to the patient. There is less scarring and recovery time is much quicker. Hospital stays are shorter. What is synthetic skin? The material consists of a very porous collagen fiber bonded to a sugar polymer. Glycominoglycan, obtained from shark cartilage. It is covered by a sheet of silicon rubber. It was developed by Yanis V. Yanis. 1935, and his colleagues at Massachusetts Institute of Technology around 1985. Soon after its introduction, synthetic skin was used to successfully treat more than 100 severely burned victims. Who received the first heart transplant? On December 3, 1967, in Cape Town, South Africa, Dr. Christian Barnard, 1922-2001, and a team of 30 associates performed the first heart transplant. In a five-hour operation the heart of Denise and Darvel, 1943-1967, age 25, an auto accident victim was transplanted into the body of Louis Washinsky, 1913-1967, a 55-year-old wholesale grocer. Washinsky lived for 18 days before dying from pneumonia.
the first heart transplant performed in the United States was on a 2.5-week-old baby boy at Maimonides Hospital. Brooklyn, New York, on December 6, 1967, by Dr. Adrian Kentrowitz. 1918-2008, the baby boy lived 6.5 hours. The first adult to receive a heart transplant in the United States was Mike Kasparak. 1914-1968, age 54, at the Stanford Medical Center in Palo Alto, California, on January 6, 1968. Dr. Norman Shumway, 1923-2006, performed the operation. Mr. Kasparak lived 14 days. Almost no transplants were. Done in the 1970s because of the problem of rejection of the new heart by the recipient's immune system. In 1969, Jean Francois Borel, 1933, discovered the anti rejection drug cyclosporin. But it was not widely used until 1983 when the FDA granted approval. Today heart transplantation is an established medical procedure with two. 212 transplants performed in 2009. The percentage of patients surviving three years is more than 80%. Which American states allow medical marijuana usage? Since 1996, 15 states and the District of Columbia have passed laws allowing the use of marijuana for medical purposes. These include Alaska, Arizona, California, Colorado, District of Columbia, Hawaii, Maine, Michigan, Montana, Nevada, New Jersey, New Mexico, Oregon, Rhode Island, Vermont, and Washington. Depending on the state, patients may possess between one ounce, Alaska, Montana, Nevada, to 24 ounces, Oregon, Washington, of usable marijuana and grow their own plants. States also vary on which diseases are approved for treatment using marijuana. Why do some dentists treat the molars and premolars of children with sealants? Sealants, a soft plastic coating applied to the tooth surface, can protect a child's first and second permanent molars from decay by filling in the pits and fissures where food and bacteria might otherwise accumulate. The plastic is hardened with a special light or chemical. How does minimally invasive surgery differ from traditional, major, open surgery? Traditional, major, open surgery requires a major incision in the body, often several inches long. Allowing surgeons to physically place their hands inside the body to work. In minimally invasive surgery, the incision is very small and surgeons do not place their hands inside the body. Using a laparoscope, a narrow wand containing a video camera, surgeons are able to insert tools into tiny surgical openings to remove diseased tissue.
laparoscopy was introduced in the 1970s for gynecological treatment and gallbladder removal. At least half of all surgeries are now minimally invasive, laparoscopic or arthroscopic. With a wide range of applications gallbladder removal, appendix removal, hernia repair, gynecological. Colon removal, partial lung removal, spleen removal, and surgery for chronic heartburn or reflux disease. What is the meaning of the medical abbreviation NYD? Not yet diagnosed. How is blood pressure measured? A sphygmomanometer is the device used to measure blood pressure. It was invented in 1881 by an Austrian named von Bash. It consists of a cuff with an inflatable bladder that is wrapped around the upper arm. A rubber bulb to inflate the bladder, and a device that indicates the pressure of blood. Measuring arterial tension, blood pressure, of a person's circulation is achieved when the Cuff is applied to the arm over the artery and pumped to a pressure that occludes or blocks it. This gives the systolic measure, or the maximum pressure of the blood, which occurs during contraction of the ventricles of the heart. Air is then released from the cuff until the blood is first heard passing through the opening artery, called Korokoff sounds. This gives diastolic pressure, or the minimum value of blood pressure that occurs during the relaxation of the arterial filling phase of the heart muscle. Who discovered jumping genes? Barbara McClintock, 1902-1992, who worked on the cytogenetics of maize during the 1950s at Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory in New York. Discovered that certain mutable genes were transferred from cell to cell during development of the corn kernel. McClintock made this inference based on observations of changing patterns of coloration in maize kernels over many generations of controlled crosses. She was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1983 for her work. Where is the longest cave system in the world? The Mammoth Cave System in Kentucky is the longest cave system in the world. The cave system consists of more than 367 miles kilometers, of subterranean labyrinths. If the second and third longest caves in the world were combined, Mammoth Cave would still be the longest cave in the world. What is the average size of a virus? The smallest viruses are about 17 nanometers in diameter. 
and the largest viruses are up to 1000 nanometers, 1 micrometer, in length. By comparison, the bacterium Escherichia coli is 2000 nanometers in length. A cell nucleus is 2800 nanometers in diameter, and an average eukaryotic cell is 10,000 nanometers in length. What are some examples of biofield therapies? Qigong, Reiki, and therapeutic touch are examples of biofield therapies. Qigong, a part of traditional Chinese medicine, combines movement, meditation, and controlled breathing. The goal is to improve blood flow and the flow of qi. Reiki, based on the spiritual. Teachings of Mikao Yuzui, 1865-1926, of Japan, is used to promote overall health and well-being. Practitioners of Reiki seek to transmit a universal energy to a person. Either from a distance or by placing their hands on or near the person. The goal is to heal the spirit and thus the body. Therapeutic touch is a therapy in which practitioners pass their hands over another person's body with the intent to use their own perceived healing energy to identify energy imbalances and promote health. How salty is seawater? Seawater is, on average, 3.3 to 3.7 percent salt. The amount of salt varies from place to place. In areas where large quantities of fresh water are supplied by melting ice, rivers, or rainfall, such as the Arctic or Antarctic, the level of salinity is lower. Areas such as the Persian Gulf and the Red Sea have salt contents over 4.2%. If all the salt in the ocean were dried, it would form a mass of solid salt the size of Africa. Most of the ocean salt comes from processes of dissolving and leaking from the solid earth over hundreds of millions of years. Some is the result of salty volcanic rock that flows up from a giant rift that runs through all the ocean's basins. What conditions are necessary for seed germination? NCE the seed is protected and enclosed in a seed coat, it ceases further development and becomes dormant. Seeds remain dormant until the optimum conditions of temperature, oxygen, and moisture are available for germination and further development. In addition to these external factors, some seeds undergo a series of enzymatic and biochemical changes prior to germination. Can animals regenerate parts of their bodies? Regeneration does occur in some animals. However, it progressively declines the more complex the animal species becomes. Among primitive invertebrates, lacking a backbone, 
regeneration frequently occurs. For example, a planarium, flatworm, can split symmetrically, each part becoming a clone of the other. In higher invertebrates regeneration occurs in echinoderms, such as starfish, and arthropods, such as insects and crustaceans. Regeneration of appendages, limbs, wings, and antennae, occurs in insects, such as cockroaches. Fruit flies, and locusts, and in crustaceans, such as lobsters, crabs, and crayfish. For example, regeneration of the crayfish's missing claw occurs at its next mold. Shedding of its hard cuticle exterior shell slash skin for the growing and the subsequent hardening of a new cuticle exterior. However, sometimes the regenerated claw does not achieve the same size of the missing claw. But after every mold, occurring two to three times a year, it grows and will eventually become nearly as large as the original claw. On a very limited basis, some amphibians and reptiles can replace a lost leg or tail. What invertebrate lives in both marine and fresh waters and is one of the most important of all animals? Copepods, tiny crustaceans, are the link between the photosynthetic life in the ocean or pond and the rest of the aquatic food web. They are primary consumers grazing on algae in the waters of the oceans and ponds. These organisms, among the most abundant multicellular animals on Earth, are then consumed by a variety of small predators, which are eaten by larger predators, and so on. Virtually all animal life in the ocean depends on the copepods, either directly or indirectly. Although humans do not eat copepods directly, our sources of food from the ocean would disappear without the copepods. What is the purpose of a trade secret? A trade secret is information a company chooses to protect from its competitors. Perhaps the most famous trade secret is the formula for Coca-Cola. Where are fungi found? Fungi grow best in dark, moist habitats, but they can be found wherever organic material is available. Moisture is necessary for their growth. And they can obtain water from the atmosphere as well as from the medium upon which they live. When the environment becomes very dry, Fungi survive by going into a resting stage or by producing spores that are resistant to drying. The optimum pH for most species is 5.6, but some fungi can tolerate and grow. In pH ranging from 2 to 9, certain fungi can grow in concentrated salt solutions or sugar solutions. Such as jelly or jam which prevents bacterial growth. Fungi also thrive over a wide temperature range. Even refrigerated food may be susceptible to fungal invasion.
What is the major function of the nucleus? The nucleus is the information center for the cell and the storehouse of the genetic information. DNA, that directs all of the activities of a living eukaryotic cell. It is usually the largest organelle in a eukaryotic cell and contains the chromosomes. Who invented the thermometer? The Greeks of Alexandria knew that air expanded as it was heated. Hero of Alexandria, 1st century CE And Philo of Byzantium made simple thermoscopes, but they were not real thermometers. In 1592, Galileo Galilei, 1564-1642, made a kind of thermometer that also functioned as a barometer. And in 1612 his friend Santorio Santorio, 1561-1636, adapted the air thermometer. A device in which a colored liquid was driven down by the expansion of air. To measure the body's temperature change during illness and recovery. Still, it was not until 1713 that Daniel Fahrenheit. 1686 to 1736, began developing a thermometer with a fixed scale. He worked out his scale from two fixed points. The melting point of ice and the heat of the healthy human body. He realized that the melting point of ice was a constant temperature. Whereas the freezing point of water varied. Fahrenheit put his thermometer into a mixture of ice, water, and salt, which he marked off as zero degrees. And using this as a starting point, marked off melting ice at 32 degrees and blood heat at 96 degrees. In 1835, it was discovered that normal blood measured 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Sometimes Fahrenheit used spirit of wine as the liquid in the thermometer tube. But more often he used specially purified mercury. Later, the boiling point of water, 212 degrees Fahrenheit, became the upper fixed point. What is the largest prime number presently known? A prime number is one that is evenly divisible only by itself and 1 the integers 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and 19 are prime numbers. Euclid C335 to 270 BCE proved that there is no largest prime number. Because any attempt to define the largest results in a paradox. If there is a largest prime number, p, adding 1 to the product of all primes up to and including p. 1 1, 1 3 2 3 3 3 5 3. 3p, yields a number that is itself a prime number. Because it cannot be divided evenly by any of the known primes. In 2003, Michael Schaefer discovered the largest known, and the 40th, prime number. 2209960119 this is over 6 million digits long and would take more than 3 weeks to write out by hand.
in July 2010, double-checking proved this was the 40th Mersenet prime. Named after Marin Mersenet, 1588-1648, a French monk who did the first work in this area. Mersenet primes occur where 2N1 is prime. There is no apparent pattern to the sequence of primes. Mathematicians have been trying to find a formula since the days of Euclid, without success. The 40th prime was discovered on a personal computer as part of the GIMP's effort. The Great Three Internet Mersenet Prime Search, which was formed in January 1996 to discover new world record size prime numbers. GIMPS relies on the computing efforts of thousands of small, personal computers around the world. Interested participants can become involved in the search for primes by going to http colon slash slash www.mersen.org slash default.php How is bulletproof glass made? Bulletproof glass is composed of two sheets of plate glass with a sheet of transparent resin in between. Molded together under heat and pressure. When subjected to a severe blow, it will crack without shattering. Today's bulletproof glass is a development of laminated or safety glass. Invented by the French chemist Edouard Benedictus, 1878-1930. It is basically a multiple lamination of glass and plastic layers. Which volcanoes in the contiguous 48 states are considered active and have erupted in the past 200 years? Seven major volcanoes in the contiguous 48 states are considered active. Two in California Lassen Peak, and MT. Shasta, 4 in Washington Glacier Peak, M.T. Baker, M.T. Rainier, and M.T. St. Helens, and 1 in Oregon M.T. Hood. Who were the congenitally joined twins who gave rise to the term Siamese twins? The term Siamese twins originated with the appearance of Chang and Ang Bunker, 1811-1874. Conjoined Chinese twins born in Siam, now Thailand, who were used as a circus attraction by P. T. Barnum, 1810-1891. Siamese twins are identical twins joined at some point of their bodies. Most commonly at the hip, chest, abdomen, buttocks, or head. Like other identical twins, they originate from a single fertilized egg, in the case of congenitally joined twins. However, the egg fails to split into two separate cell masses at the proper time. The condition is relatively rare. Only about 500 cases have been reported worldwide. Surgery to separate Siamese twins is a complex task. And often results in the death of one or both of the twins. How much of the you? 
S energy supply is from renewable sources. Renewable energy resources accounted for only 8% of total energy consumption. In the United States in 2009, hydropower is the single largest source of renewable energy in the United States. Accounting for 35% of total renewable energy. What are the four types of nebulae? The four types of nebulae are, emission, reflection, dark, and planetary. Primarily the birthplace of stars, nebulae are clouds of gas and dust in space. Emission nebulae and reflection nebulae are bright nebulae. Emission nebulae are colorful and self-luminous. The Orion Nebula, visible with the naked eye, is an example of an emission nebula. Reflection nebulae are cool clouds of dust and gas. They are illuminated by the light from nearby stars rather than by their own energy. Dark nebulae, also known as absorption nebulae, are not illuminated and appear as holes in the sky. The horsehead nebula in the constellation Orion is an example of a dark nebula. Planetary nebulae are the remnants of the death of a star. Is there a name for the heart monitoring machine that people sometimes wear for a day or two while carrying on their normal activities? A portable version of the electrocardiograph, ECG, designed by J. J. Holter is called a Holter monitor. Electrodes attached to the chest are linked to a small box containing a recording device. The device records the activity of the heart. Do animals have color vision? Most reptiles and birds appear to have a well-developed color sense. Most mammals, however, are colorblind. Apes and monkeys have the ability to tell colors apart. Dogs can distinguish shades of gray and see various shades of blue. Cats seem to be able to distinguish between greens and blues. What is the precession of the equinoxes? The precession of the equinoxes is the 26,000-year circular movement of Earth's axis. It is caused by the bulging at the equator, which makes Earth's axis twist in such a way that the north and south poles complete a circle every 26,000 years. Every year when the sun crosses the equator at the time of the equinox, it is in a slightly different position than the previous year. This movement proceeds eastward until a circle is completed.
when and where will the next 10 total solar eclipses occur? The next total solar eclipse in the United States, August 21, 2017, will sweep a path 70 miles. 113 kilometers, wide from Salem, Oregon, to Charleston, South Carolina. Why are arthropods considered the most biologically successful phylum of animals? Members of the phylum Arthropoda are characterized by jointed appendages and an exoskeleton of chitin. There are more than one million species of arthropods currently known to science. And many biologists believe there are millions more to be identified. Arthropods are the most biologically successful group of animals because they are the most diverse and live in a greater range of habitats than do the members of any other phylum of animals. How deep does the root system penetrate the soil? The depth to which the root system penetrates the soil is dependent on moisture. Temperature, the composition of the soil, and specific plant. Most of the roots actively absorbing water and minerals. The feeder roots, are found in the upper 3 feet, 1 meter, of the soil. The feeder roots of many trees are mainly in the upper 6 inches. 15 centimeters, of the soil the part of the soil richest in organic matter. What is the hardest substance in the body? Tooth enamel is the hardest substance in the body. It is composed of 96% mineral salts and 4% organic matter and water. What are the gas laws? The gas laws are physical laws concerning the behavior of gases. They include Boyle's 8 law, which states that the volume of a given mass of gas at a constant temperature is inversely proportional to its pressure and Charles's law, which states that the volume of a given mass of gas at constant pressure is directly proportional to its absolute temperature. These two laws can be combined to give the general or universal gas law, which may be expressed as pressure x volume, slash temperature equals constant Avogadro's law states that equal volumes of all Gases contain the same number of particles if they all have the same pressure and temperature. The laws are not obeyed exactly by any real gas, but many common gases obey them under certain conditions. Particularly at high temperatures and low pressures. What is the relationship between lichens and pollution? Lichens are extremely sensitive to pollutants in the atmosphere and can be used as bioindicators of air quality. 
they absorb minerals from the air, from rainwater, and directly from their substrate. Lichen growth has been used as an indicator of air pollution, especially sulfur dioxide. Pollutants are absorbed by lichens, causing the destruction of their chlorophyll, which leads to a decrease in the occurrence of photosynthesis and changes in membrane permeability. Lichens are generally absent in and around cities, even though suitable substrates exist. The reason for this is the polluted exhaust from automobiles and industrial activity. They are beginning to disappear from national parks and other relatively remote areas that are becoming increasingly contaminated by industrial pollution. The return of lichens to an area frequently indicates a reduction in air pollution. Lichens are also used to assess radioactive pollution levels in the vicinity of uranium mines. Environments where nuclear-powered satellites have crashed. Former nuclear bomb testing sites, and power stations that have incurred accidents. Following the Chernobyl nuclear power station disaster in 1986. Arctic lichens as far away as Lapland were tested and showed levels of radioactive dust that were as much as 165 times higher than had been previously recorded. What are the primary functions of the lymphatic system? The lymphatic system consists of the lymphatic vessels, lymph, and lymphoid organs. It is responsible for maintaining proper fluid balance in tissues and blood. In addition to its role defending the body against disease-causing agents. The primary functions of the lymphatic system are, 1, to collect the interstitial fluid that consists of excess water and proteins and return it to the blood, 2, to transport lipids and other nutrients that are unable to enter the bloodstream directly, and 3, to protect the body from foreign cells and microorganisms. When was the role of bees in pollination discovered? The discovery of the role of bees in pollination was discovered by Joseph Gottlieb Kahlruder, 1733-1806. In 1761, he was the first to realize that plant fertilization occurs with the help of pollen-carrying insects. Prior to the condom, what was the main contraceptive practice? Contraceptive devices have been used throughout recorded history. The most traditional of such devices was a sponge soaked in vinegar. The condom was named for its English inventor, the personal physician to Charles II, 1630-1685, who used a sheath of stretched, oiled sheep intestine to protect the king from syphilis. Previously penile sheaths were used, such as the linen one made by Italian anatomist Gabriel Fio Pius. 1523-1562 but they were too heavy to be successful.
which industries use the most aluminum in the United States? Aluminum is important in all segments of the world economy. The use of aluminum exceeds that of any other metal except iron measured in both quantity and value. In 2009, 33% of the aluminum used in the United States was in the transportation. Industry for the manufacture of automobiles, trucks, railcars, marine vessels, and airplanes. Alloys have high tensile strengths and are of considerable industrial importance to the aerospace industry. Because of aluminum's resistance to corrosion, low density, and excellent heat conducting property. 26% of the aluminum was used by the packaging industry for drink and food containers and covers. And foil pouches and wraps in 2009. In 2009, the building construction industry used 14% of aluminum alloys in such items as gutters, panels, siding, window frames, and roofing. It is a good conductor of electricity and is widely used in power and telephone cables. Light bulbs, and electrical equipment. Examples of the numerous other products containing aluminum and aluminum alloys are cookware, golf clubs, air conditioners, lawn furniture, license plates, paints, refrigerators, rocket fuel, and zippers. What was the cause of the Columbia Space Shuttle disaster? The Columbia Space Shuttle was launched on January 16, 2003 on mission STS-107. The mission was a research mission and the crew had many science experiments ranging from plant growth to a cancer drug study to studying the effects of microgravity on the cardiovascular system. The Columbia Space Shuttle was lost during its re-entry to Earth's atmosphere on February 1, 2003 The investigation of the disaster determined that a piece of foam insulation broke off shortly after liftoff and damaged the thermal protection system on the leading edge of the orbiter's left wing. As the Space Shuttle descended, Super hot gases entered the interior aluminum structure of the orbiter. The internal wing structure was weakened and eventually the atmospheric forces tore off the wing. The final communication between Columbia and NASA flight controllers occurred. At an altitude of approximately 203,000 feet, 61,900 meters, over Texas. Debris from Columbia was later found in Texas, Arkansas, and Louisiana. What is evolution? Although it was originally defined in the 19th century as descent with modification, Evolution is currently described as the change in frequency of genetic traits. Also known as the allelic frequency, within populations over time. What are Napier's bones? In the 16th century, 
the Scottish mathematician John Napier, 1550-1617. Baron of Murchiston, developed a method of simplifying the processes of multiplication and division. Using exponents of 10, which Napier called logarithms, commonly abbreviated as logs. Using this system, multiplication is reduced to addition and division to subtraction. For example, the log of 100, 102, is 2, the log of 1000, 103, is 3, the multiplication of 100 by 1000, 100 x 1000 equals 100,000, can be accomplished by adding their logs. Log, 100, 1000, equals log, 100, plus log, 1000, equals 2 plus 3 equals 5 equals log, 100,000. Napier published his methodology in a description of the admirable table of logarithms. In 1614. In 1617 he published a method of using a device, made up of a series of rods in a frame. Marked with the digits 1 through 9, to multiply and divide using the principles. Of logarithms. This device was commonly called Napier's bones or Napier's rods. What are some sleep disorders? The most common sleep disorder is insomnia. Insomnia is ongoing difficulty in falling asleep, staying asleep, or restless sleep. Technically, insomnia is a symptom of other sleep disorders. Consequently, treatment for insomnia depends on the primary cause of insomnia. Which may be stress, depression, or too much caffeine or alcohol. Hypersomnia is extreme sleepiness during the day even with adequate sleep the night before. Hypersomnia has been mistakenly blamed on depression. Laziness, boredom, or other negative personality traits. Narcolepsy is characterized by falling asleep at inappropriate times. The sleep may last only a few minutes and is often preceded by a period of muscular weakness. Emotional events may trigger an episode of narcolepsy. Some individuals with narcolepsy experience a state called sleep paralysis. They wake up to find their body is paralyzed except for breathing and eye movement. In other words, the brain is awake but the body is still asleep. Sleep apnea is a breathing disorder in which an individual briefly wakes up. Because breathing has been interrupted and may even stop for a brief period of time. Obstructive sleep apnea, OSA, is the most common form of sleep apnea. It occurs when air cannot flow into or out of the person's nose or mouth as they breathe. What wood is the favorite for butcher's blocks? Because of its resilience, the preferred wood for making butcher's blocks is derived from the American sycamore. Platanus occidentalis, also known as the American plane tree, buttonball, buttonwood, and water beech. The wood of Platanus occidentalis is also used as veneers, for decorative surfaces, fence posts, and fuel.
What is the lightest known solid? The lightest solid is silica aerogels, made of tiny spheres of bonded silicon. And oxygen atoms linked together into long strands separated with air pockets. They appear almost like frozen wisps of smoke. They also have the lowest conductivity, lowest solid density, highest porosity, highest surface area. And the highest dielectric constant, giving them the potential of being used in many applications. Understandably, their use is not currently widespread due to the expense to create them. And the difficulty in insulating capabilities will allow their use in place of fiberglass and polyurethane foam. Significantly reducing global energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions. What is a fuzzy search? Fuzzy search is an inexact search that allows a user to search for data that are similar to but not exactly the same as what he or she specifies. It can produce results when the exact spelling is unknown. Or it can help users obtain information that is loosely related to a topic. When should a fluorescent light be turned off to save energy? Fluorescent lights use a lot of electric current getting started. And frequently switching the light on and off will shorten the lamp's life and efficiency. It is energy efficient to turn off a fluorescent light only if it will not be used again within 15 minutes. How did the quark get its name? This theoretical particle, considered to be the fundamental unit of matter, was named by Murray Gelman. 1929, an American theoretical physicist who was awarded the 1969 Nobel Prize in Physics. Its name was initially a playful tag that Gelman invented, sounding something like quirk. Later, Gelman came across the line three quarks for master marks in James Joyce's 1882-1941, Finnegan's Wake, and the tag became known as a quark. There are six kinds or flavors, up, down, strange, charm, bottom, and top of quarks, and each flavor has three varieties or colors, red, blue, and green. All 18 types have different electric charges, a basic characteristic of all elementary particles. Three quarks form a proton, having one unit of positive electric charge or a neutron, zero charge, and two quarks, a quark and an antiquark, form a meson. Like all known particles, a quark has its antimatter opposite. Known as an antiquark, having the same mass but opposite charge. Who first proposed the Kingdom Protista?
The German zoologist Ernst Haeckel, 1834-1919, first proposed the kingdom Protista in 1866. For the newly discovered organisms that were neither plant nor animal. The term protest is derived from the Greek term protistos, meaning the very first. What percentage of Earth's surface is forest area? The world's total forest area is just over 4 billion hectares or 31% of the total land area. More than half of the world's forest areas are in the five most forest-rich countries. The Russian Federation, Brazil, Canada, the United States, and China. Who discovered the ABO system of typing blood? The Austrian physician Karl Landsteiner, 1868-1943 Discovered the ABO system of blood types in 1909. Landsteiner had investigated why blood transfused from one individual was sometimes successful and other times resulted in the death of the patient. He theorized that there must be several different blood types. A person with one type of blood will have antibodies to the antigens in the blood. Type they do not have. If a transfusion occurs between two individuals with different blood types. The red blood cells will clump together, blocking the blood vessels. <laughs>